Hey, this is William Michael Morgan, and you're watching the Bull Sessions at the Skype Live Studio. William Michael Morgan here in the uh, Skype Live Studio. Yes, sir. Hey, sir. Oh, yes. I'm yes. only 32, man. I'm not sir yet. <laughs> well, Mama told me anybody <laughs> that's a year older than me. Can you tell from the South? Yeah. <laughs> a, a year older than you is oh, sir? That's yes, sir. Oh, yes, so you're sir. calling, like, you know, your, your colleagues. I'm calling, I'm not, are... Well, I'm not calling him sir. <laughs> <laughs> Well, welcome to Portland. Uh, I understand you, you, you got a chance. You got in yesterday afternoon, and uh, we, we did dinner last night, but you get a, a chance to actually explore Portland uh, a little bit later on today. Uh, you get to go hang no, out. No, we didn't really get to see too much. I mean, we got to see downtown coming down here. Sure. But, uh, I mean, but you get a night off. To, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be here tonight. all night, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go around and see a couple different places. There's a couple restaurants that uh, a couple people are telling us to go check out, so... And, you know, I want to go grab me a big old cigar and a cup of coffee somewhere, too. So if anybody has any suggestions, let me know. I'll be back in there. There's, uh, there's plenty <laughs> of coffee in this town, plenty of, plenty of beer, plenty of wine. Oh, you thank know. God. Yeah, and uh, plenty of people watching in Portland for sure. Well, I like drinking beer and watching people. So perception versus reality, um, what have you heard about Portland, you know, before you, you got here? What, have, what are some of the stories that people have told you about this town, or if you've heard any? Um, well, I mean, this is my first time here. I mean, in the, in the north, northwest anyways, uh, you know, we went to Seattle. We went to, uh, uh, you know, this is, like I said, this is our first time here. So I didn't really have much of a preconception of, about it just because I don't really know a whole lot of people around this area. So... I'm kind of making it up as I go, you know. I'm loving <laughs> right. it so far. The well, weather is perfect. Now prior to being on on what you what well, we're called, well, being from Mississippi, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't exactly pull out the Chamber of Commerce weather today, but uh, this That's is more right. uh, more par for the course, you know, in the fall and, and as we get towards fall and winter and spring. But uh, sure. it's we'll a little nicer in September than it is today. But yeah. yeah. Um, so prior to getting signed to Warner and, and doing this radio tour where you've been to Seattle, what was the furthest? Because you grew up in Vicksburg, Mississippi, which is literally right on the Mississippi, Mississippi River. River yes, sir. And, and it's on the, e on the east side of the river, right? Uh, uh, yes. You're right on the well, east yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're right on, right on the, uh, the Mississippi River Bridge. Right. If you uh, go about an hour, you can hit Monroe. I, I Louisiana. Kind of look at maps a lot because all of Mississippi would be on the east side of the Mississippi yeah. River. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, prior to that, what was the furthest west of the Mississippi that you'd been before you started uh, singing for um, a living? Well, before we started Radio Tour, the furthest west, and, you know, it's not really too, too west, but I, I would have to say, like, Florida. I mean, I just, well, I never went anywhere. I mean, <laughs> being from Mississippi, you're lucky if you get past your mailbox, I promise right. you. <laughs> Florida was the furthest west. So you went all the way around the world, we went west, all the across way the Atlantic, the and then ended up yes. in Florida. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. <laughs> It was four gruesome, well, William long, Michael Morgan cold months. doesn't look at many maps either, but it's all good. We're, we're all having fun yeah, here today. Yeah, there you go. Well, yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Never mind. Scratch that. <laughs> but like Texas, maybe, like that kind of Yeah, that okay, now west. that I understand my, my uh, coordinates here. Yeah, Texas, uh, It was my northern <laughs> Oklahoma. accent you probably couldn't understand. I, I meant east when I yeah, said I'm that. Sorry, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> Uh, wow. You're talking to a guy who thinks we Santa Claus is from the South Pole. We started off on the right foot today, let me tell you. Uh, <laughs> Still early, man. I haven't had a whole bunch of coffee. So you're tw you're 22. Um, mm -hmm. Who are some of your influences growing up? I know that your your buddy here was uh, was really disappointed when he found out that that Vince Gill was playing down at the State Fair yeah, and he wasn't you know, there yeah, last he was, night. He was a little upset about <laughs> that. And uh, you know, I love Vince Gill. I grew up listening to stuff like Merle Haggard and George Jones and. Keith Whitley and Marty Robbins and Johnny Paycheck and stuff like that, you know. And the reason I grew up listening to that kind of stuff is I just always, I was a sucker for a great lyric and uh, a sucker for a moving melody. And, uh, you know, it's, it was just always something that I fell in love with. You know, when you hear somebody open up their voice like, you know, or open up their mouth like Merle Haggard and that voice come out within the first five seconds of the song, you know, you, you, you feel that pain or happiness or whatever they're going through. What would be one, uh, you know, outside of country music, one thing that you would be listening to that if, if you got caught listening to it in the car, you might get a, a weird look from people? Like, do you have a guilty pleasure band that, uh, that you like? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me, let me uh, rephrase that. Who is your uh, guilty pleasure band? <laughs> okay, that, uh, all right. Well, now that you asked that, um, <laughs> I'm a big Snoop Dogg fan. Believe it or not. Eastside Distilling has gin and juice right upstairs. Well, uh, so after the show. No. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> I don't know if they really we'll be do. be rolling but, down uh, the street. Let's do it. All right. All right. 
Cool. You ready to play some more music? <laughs> oh, On that yeah. note, I'm going to let him have the high note there. <laughs> I'm a better no singer than talking. No pun intended since we're talking about Snoop Dogg. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know what's happening right now. Oh. Thank God the bosses we are out of there. town this week. We That's all I'm there. saying. Uh, one more time for William Michael Morgan here in the Skyfly Studio presented by Spirit Mountain Casino with 98.7 The Bull. <laughs>